Hello, and welcome to the Open Text Imaging for Windows 4.0 tutorial videos. In this video, we will cover installing the latest hotfix. First, we'll discuss why you'd want to install the latest hotfix. First, there's updated software. There are fixes within the hotfix, problems that were released in the original software that have been fixed since then. There are also new features in the hotfix, and you can read about those in the README file in the hotfix itself. To install the latest hotfix, you need to download it. You'll need to go to the following site. Don't worry about that URL, it's very long. I've included a link here on the screen and in the notes below. Once you've gone to this site, you'll need to first read and then agree to the terms of use. Once you've agreed to the terms of use, choose the Imaging for Windows 4.0 link at the top of the list. Near the middle of the screen, you'll see Download. When you click on that link, it will begin downloading the latest version of the hotfix. All of our hotfixes are cumulative, which means you do not need to install each individual hotfix, just the latest one, and it will include all of the fixes from the past. The download will take anywhere from one minute to several minutes, depending on your connection speed. Once the software is downloaded, you'll need to find it Normally it goes to the Downloads folder. In this case, the latest hotfix is Hotfix 8, and so the file is called img 40 hotfix h o t f i x 8zip or zip. You'll need to right-click on this and choose to extract the files. That will create a folder called img 40 hotfix 8. Inside that folder, you'll find an img 40 hotfixexe or executable. Double click on this to begin the extraction. For hotfix 8, this will create a folder called 5818. That's 5818. If you'll open that folder, you'll find two subfolders. Hotfix 8, in parentheses, imaging, and hotfix 8, toolkit. In most cases, you want Hotfix 8 Imaging. If you're using the Developer's Toolkit, which is discussed in a later video, you would choose the Toolkit option. Within the Hotfix folder, you'll find several files. The README underscore 40 underscore 08 Imaging is the README file we discussed earlier. This includes all the information about the current hotfix and any previous hotfixes. It also includes compatibility information and some information about where and how you can use the software. The file we're looking for to complete the hotfix installation is the one underneath that called update.exe. You'll need to run this with elevated permissions, which means if you are not the administrator on the machine, you'll need to right-click on the file update.exe and choose Run as Administrator. Again, if you are not the administrator, this may require other credentials. You may need to talk to your system administrator to get them to help you install this software. Once you've started the install process, the Install Shield screen will appear. Hitting Cancel any time during this will stop the installation. After a moment, you'll get the welcome screen. To continue the installation, simply click Update. The upgrade process will take anywhere from 1 to 5 minutes, depending on your machine's speed. Again, hitting Cancel during this process will stop the upgrade. Once the upgrade is complete, you'll need to click Finish. There are a couple of ways to make sure that the upgrade actually happened. There's the easy way, and there's a slightly more difficult way. The easy way is to open Imaging for Windows, go to the Help menu, and choose Register. There, you'll notice that there is a new button in the lower left of the registration screen. That button is the Reset button. This means that you have the latest hotfix. The slightly more difficult way is to check the file version on a particular file. If you go into your Windows Explorer and go to the Program Files, Common Files, Global 360 Imaging, and choose the file oieng400.dll. Right-click on this and choose Properties. Under the Details tab, you will have 
the product version. That should read 4.40.5818, the same as the folder name that we used earlier. This will tell you that the latest hotfix has been installed and is working. Thank you. If you have questions, please send them to i4wquestions at opentext.com.